first congratulations for your success in pt exam as you have got perfect 90 score in your first attempt only so hope you are feeling satisfied with the scores awarded to you yes thank you i'm i'm really happy and i was a uh, positively surprised about it okay that's good so i wanted to discuss about you how you went with your pt okay so let's start with your journey what made you go for pte and how did you start your preparations yes of course well um basically at the beginning of the year i tried to do another a different test uh, with toffel and when i mean i i did a one one try with TOEFL and I didn't got like the, the score that I, I wanted. Uh, and I heard about PTE that was uh, more fair scoring uh, with the AI uh, grading. So I decided to uh, give it a give it a go. And I started first just studying with the regular PTE support that is on the site. And then I heard about the uh, PT coach um, and I decided I made a mock test before uh, reaching out to you and I noticed that I didn't have like the the perfect score. I had like a good score, but it was not enough. And uh, th that's when I decided to just uh, reach out to the PT coach and have these one on one sessions. Oh, that's good. So um, I just want to know another question that how did we help you in your journey with your, uh, you know, at ptmocktest.com? Do you find it really helpful to you? Yes, I think the uh, key point here and, and the main uh, support was in terms of uh, financing my my skills and getting to reaching the, the point of the perfect score because uh, I think I had the basic, uh, like the basics for for getting like a good score, but definitely I was I didn't have like enough practice, and there were some tips and tricks that were really useful, and that helped me to uh, manage uh, better and get to my best in the, in the exam. Oh, thank you. So, which section do you find the hardest in exam? I think the hardest was uh, speaking, and this is because it is um, uh, it is very demanding. And even though that it's at the beginning of the of the test, uh, you have to pass like several different tasks, and uh, you have to switch really quickly uh, your your mind into the next task. Uh, so I guess that uh, with the practice and all the tips that uh, PT coach gave me, they helped me to actually transition more quickly and give more fluency to my to my speaking because I used to be like really paused and really uh, hesitating about it. And they helped me to do this like uh, fluency and, and reach to, to this uh, perfect scoring. OK, so how did your skill level is change in comparison to before your classes uh, started and after that towards the end of the classes? Do you feel any difference at the start of the classes and by the time you reach uh, you finish your course with us? Yes, definitely. At the beginning, I was uh, very uh, hesitant and I used to post a lot while I was uh, like uh, performing the tasks. And the other thing that I thought was uh, more focused, not in the important thing about the fluency, I wanted to get perfect in the content. Uh, so with the classes, I noticed that actually uh, I needed to focus in other skills. And that's when uh, with the practice and the tips. Your scores will also help you to roll down into the other sections as well, right? Exactly, exactly. Yes. OK, so let's talk about your test day. How did you feel? Were you nervous? Yes, I was very nervous at the beginning uh, when I I did even the the last tip that you uh, gave me around uh, doing a bit of uh, read aloud before just to kind of like warm up and that was super, super helpful because that helped me to relax and to uh, be really focused. Um, but yeah, definitely I was. Um, uh, I, I felt even I was like on, on edge. That was healthy nervousness, right? <laughs> Not yeah. about 
so much okay you were involved in lot of practice with us right you know the going through the section wise test subsection and the full scored mock test so do you find uh, your confidence level was um, boost up with these tests yes definitely and uh, the other thing is that uh, i i guess that uh, it is not just about the class uh, it's actually the student that needs to get involved in it and work with the coach because uh, I think uh, we did a, a really good relationship and you helped me out to to get my best. But if I was not like doing the practice and committing, I, it was not be uh, going to be possible. So I think it's uh, just getting the this perfect match between the coach and and the participant, the All student. OK, all right. So we are nearly about to conclude. I have just one last question. So what sure. three advices would you like to give it to the new test takers who were just uh, doing or were just preparing for uh, the PT exam? Uh, well, first of all, uh, uh, I just want to encourage them to uh, reach for for their best because it is not impossible. Um, so self-confidence is really important and the way to get to self-confidence is uh, to practicing a lot so that would be the first advice practice practice and practice the second one is uh, listen to your coach and discuss with your coach what are your main points like weak points and just focus on that uh, and they will help you to to succeed and the third point is uh, just relax uh, and uh, be do even some meditation on some like uh, deep breathing before getting into the task so that you can get in the zone and uh, perform better. OK, thank you so much, Martin, and have a good day and good luck for your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you.